Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2E0IQJ. So I bought myself a Rig Expert Zoom AA230, which does HF all the way up to 230 MHz. Now they do one for 650, which goes up to 650 MHz. 30 MHz, uh, AA230, which goes up to 30 MHz. 55 MHz, does up to 55 MHz. They do one up to 2 gig, 1.5 gig, and so on. But my one does up to 230 MHz. Now last week when I tried to SWI on that 4 meter antenna, if you haven't seen that video, go back and watch it. I struggled with that Nano VNA because it was telling me the antenna was way off tune. Eventually, I got it down to 1.5. So if I'd had this, I would have done it a lot quicker than them Nano VNAs. Now, I got mine from Moonraker, and it cost me £329 plus £6 delivery. Other websites had it on there for £379, £380. eBay was over £400 coming from the States. Um, um, Ham Radio Store, so Watson Stanley had it for 329 as well. I saw mine on um, Moonraker. Thought, yeah, I'm going to go and definitely get get hold of one. Now, in the box, you get the actual unit itself. And on top of the unit, you've got a end top connection. They also give you an adapter there that goes to PL259 and will plug it in to my 11 straight 10 meter antenna. You've got your buttons there to input your frequency. On the bottom there, you've got yourself the USB connection there, which goes to the computer. And here you've got a nice high quality screen. And it's powered by four treble A batteries. Now you get them in the pack as well, which is nice. If you get the 650, you get the batteries and the charger with it as well. And I presume if you get the lower ones, the 55 or the 30, then you get the, um, just the treble A batteries. You also get a pleather or leather pouch, so you can carry it about with you, which I'm gonna put mine in the pouch. And if I go in the garden to check antennas and stuff, if I spill something on it, the pouch should actually protect it, which is good. It's obviously getting dirty. We got ourselves a USB cable because you can plug it into a computer. I'm yet to explore the computer software, but I should be looking at that at some point. And there is software for, you know, unfortunately, Windows. And there is software for Macintosh. I'll be looking at the Macintosh software. You've also got the instruction manual there. It tells you what it is, the AA230 from Rig Expert. That's in very, very good English, actually. So let's turn the unit itself on. We turn it on by pressing and holding the power button. And if I zoom in on the screen, you'll see here, using the up and down arrows, we've got a Smith chart, an SWR chart, RX chart, SWR meter, all parameters set up, calibrate, return loss, because it tells you the return loss of the coax, the TDR chart, and the multi SWR, and you've got some tools as well there. So if I go to setup and press the tick, you can change your language to English, change the palette, so it's Default is orange, but I'm going to leave mine on blue for the purpose of the video because it's a bit easier to see. Battery optimal, sound loud. Now system impedance, press it. We've got up to, from 25 ohms right the way up to 600 ohms, but we're going to leave it on 50 ohms, which is what you're probably going to want it on. Units metric and uh, bands, Europe and Africa, you can change it for your, your country. Cable, veloc uh, cable velocity factor, I'm leaving that on 0.66. And we're going to press the key. And you've also got that. And you've got frequency correction. And you've got data points. You've got Bluetooth enabled. Because it will sit there and work on a mobile phone. Like the an Android phone and so on. If I go and connect my 11 meter straight 10 meter antenna to it. And we're going to go to SWR chart. And we're going to press OK. Now at this point I can just press tick to start. Because it's on 28 megs. Well, I can press three. If I press three, I can enter in a frequency by using the keypad. If I press and hold the function button there, on the side here, on the side, it lights up and you can go up and down to do all the bands. You can do two meters, six meters, 10 meters, and so on. Now you're not restricted just to the bands here. If I went on to 10 meters, I want you to do, oh, let's go back, seven. I can do four meters and go through the um, through the four meter, meter band but I want it on 10 meters for the video it's got up to 10 meters and I can just press the tick and if I press the tick again it's now going to do a sweep of the 10 meter band and it's telling me that my SWR oh that was good 1.17 around about 28.83 now I can go up and down with the arrows to get the SWR and I can press the tick again it will continue on and go higher up the band there. So let's go up. I 
it's still within my minimum is, and you go up and you check the SWR. So at 29.92, it's about 1.45. My antenna for 11 meters is actually tuned in more for 10 meters because the 10 meter band's been wide open. I can go down. If I want to zoom in, let's go back to our chart. I can then zoom in by using up and down arrows. So go in, thousand, so on, or zoom out, and what have you, have you there. Let's go back and we'll do an SWR meter. Again, I can press three and I can enter in a frequency. So we do 028 and we do 880. And it says press one for help, or we're going to press the tick. Press on the tick. You see there at 28800, uh, 880, my return loss of my case is 22 dB. And I've got an SWR of 1.18. And I've been playing around with this now for a few, few days. Still lots to learn, learn with this, this unit. I won't go into anything like the Smith chart or the RX chart in this video. This was just a quick video on unboxing the Rig Expert AA Zoom 230 and basic SWR checking. And you can do multiple checks. If I go down to multi SWR, I can put different frequencies in there and I can scan the frequencies. You can also do a scan of the whole of the, like the HF band. So if you've got an aerial, you want to know where it is, you should be able to plug it into this and let it scan through and find out where the aerial is. Anyhow, if you found this video some useful not to do, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you've got one of these, which one have you got? You've got the 30, the 55, or uh, the more expensive ones. Which one have you got? Or are you sticking on a Nano VNA? I'm finding this a lot easier to use than a Nano VNA, a lot easier to use than the Drift Tech or the AW07A, and a lot easier to use because it does 4 meters and 2 meters and stuff with um, this antenna than the SARC 100. Although they're good analyzers, this one seems to be better because you've got a nice color screen and so on. And this one's a lot easier to see out there in the light. So when you're outside in the bright sunlight, I know VNA, you have to do all this all the time just to see the screen. And this one, you don't need to do that. It's nice and bright. And if it's, you still can't see it, just change the screen from like different colours. So I'm going to change mine back. Set up. And we go up. I'm going to change mine back to orange there. That was a quick video on the Rig Expert Zoom AA230. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next video. This is 2E0IQJ. Next video, I'll plug into that 4-meter antenna and see what that thing's doing. Thanks for watching. 7-3s for now.